Hello, we are in the middle of bumfuck nowhere <laughs> with some cows which are completely ignoring us. So I guess they don't care. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I bought a car. So, yeah, um, it's weird. It's Italian and it has not, <laughs> not one, not two, not four, but three wheels. Which is um, interesting. This is the Piaggio Vespa Car P2. <laughs> yeah, I thought uh, let's make a little video since uh, most videos are either from India or Germany and there aren't really really any like detailed in-depth videos so it's like uh, let's just bring a camera and drive over here and uh, take a closer look at this uh, this 1994 Italian freewheeler It's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> can we make it? <laughs> yep, we can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I'm not sure why it uh, <laughs> shut off there, but okay. Now I'm gonna see if I can adjust the carb a little. No, I don't know how to adjust the carb. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be very dirty. Oh my god. Yeah. Give it a half a turn. Maybe it will idle a little bit uh, better. A little bit up on the mixture. So it was running way too lean. So uh, yeah, it was idling like really high. Like you heard it earlier. Like. When I was like uh, changing gears, the engine went like, Ring! Oh, yeah. that's really bad because then uh, it burns too hot because it uh, has way too much uh, oxygen versus fuel. So and that burns way hotter. So that will uh, eventually burn a hole in your piston. So yeah, or in your cylinder. So, so yeah, that's very important. Anyways, <laughs> okay. So uh, my particular Vespa car has a bit of a different uh, behind. Uh, usually they're either open box or open tipper or they have a closed uh, steel box. Mine has a tent basically. What we plan to do is uh, eventually go on holiday, go camping because we basically have a tent on wheels. So, Okay, so uh, let's take a look into the cabin. Ta-da! Cue uh, hip uh, YouTube music. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's pretty utilitarian. Uh, you won't find any air conditioning or ABS or a radio <laughs> even. It is very sparse, which is actually what I really like about this thing. It's very minimalistic, super simplistic, very easy to maintain and to repair. Um, anyways, I'm gonna pop in so it's a little bit easier to fill. There you go, watch out for the door. Okay, so uh, there, uh, let's start with the, uh, the dashboard, the controls, which are not exactly plentiful. Let me turn the wheel so I see a little bit better. So we got three switches here uh, for your uh, low beams, your high beams and your wiper. There is of course the speedometer 
and of course how many kilometers you've driven that's it there's a couple of lights here uh, mostly for stuff like blinkers your high beams um, a fuel light and an oil light and I don't even know what the other lights are yet oh, this is the uh, battery light but I don't know I don't remember what these were I haven't seen those yet I think so I guess we'll eventually find out um, and furthermore on the steering column there is only the horn that's this big lever <laughs> that's all it does and this uh, small lever is for your blinky blinks like that very simple uh, of course we have the evil turtle logo <laughs> of uh, of our uh, game development business on here because why not this control right here to the right is for your alarm lights and that's it and of course because it's an old car we have a little uh, tray for uh, ash and because people smoked a lot more in those days i guess pedals are your uh, basic uh, car stuff you know clutch brake and throttle Nothing special about that, aside from that everything is exposed and very easy to reach. Here's your brake master cylinder. Um, one pipe goes to the rear drum brakes, one to the front drum brake. Um, there's a little reservoir hidden up in here, and that's it. Speaking of very simplistic, by the way, up here, hidden away under the dashboard here, which is currently not working because I need to unplug it, is the... Uh, window cleaner spray so this is basically just a rubber pump that you have to like press really hard which I'm not gonna do right now because I'll make a mess and there's a tiny little little spray thingy on the front there that will just <laughs> spray over your window and that like it's not even an electric pump it's just completely manual that's just how simplistic this thing is okay so between the two seats we have our uh, gear shift uh, it has four gears both forwards as backwards because the reverse is a separate lever down here that's this one which you engage which is a little bit hard to do from this angle and it will uh, keep in place and then you can use your all your four gears in reverse if you want to <laughs> wouldn't recommend uh, going backwards and forth but you know if you want to sure um, of course we have handbrake and we have two tiny little levers over here the red one over here is for your heater, which is basically just the um, air coming from the engine, because the engine is air-cooled, which um, goes through a big old tube all the way under this seat here, through here, through the dashboard, and out at the front here. Which, uh, I mean, I guess we'll find out in the winter if it works. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit primitive, but... Uh. And of course, we have a manual choke because uh, it's an old car and it's a two-stroke so that's this thing right here and I had to use this thing a lot uh, uh, previously when driving because uh, yeah the um, car was leaking it has a, had a leaky gasket and um, there's probably maybe something else wrong but <laughs> we shall see uh, and of course finally we have uh, windows on the doors which are very very basic in fact, the, the door handle itself is also <laughs> kind of odd looking. I actually, the first time I, um, I had test driven this thing, I actually thought this was just a part of the like door frame and maybe of the hinge. But yeah, this is how you open the door. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a bit uh, interesting. Well, what else can I say? Well, yeah, maybe uh, I can talk a little bit about the steering, how that works. So the because this is a freewheeler you have your big steering column in the middle here it's like this big axis here and behind here is the front wheel now under here under the dashboard there is a lever with a rack and a pinion on the steering wheel and that's it that's your entire steering it's super simple <laughs> but uh yeah hey simplicity is key with this car oh i forgot one fine tiny thing actually Guess where the um, the uh, cleaning spray for the window is stored? <laughs> it's here at the passenger side. This, uh, yeah, it's a kind of suspicious looking bag. 
That's where your uh, yeah your window uh, wiper fluid comes from, and it hangs air onto little brackets, and that's it. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, uh, we stepped outside. First thing we're gonna look at is the air intake, because why not? In case you were wondering where that was, that's uh, behind this uh, bit broken plastic cover. There's an air intake with a big old tube that goes through the filter and to the engine. I'm gonna open this up so we can take a look at the engine. That's also quite different from basically any other car. They also uh, 3D printed these little uh, protective covers because uh, this was uh, clamping against the metal over there. So, you know. So as you can see, this was uh, uh, originally an open box with sides that could open up, but they added a framework here, the ceiling, and we even got lights, which is really cool. <laughs> little uh, RGB lights, and a little party. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool gonna make good use of that anyways the engine of course you could service it from by crawling under the car which I did have to do for the car but there's a very handy very handy Ta -da! way to access the engine and there she is in the whole all her glory in all her two-stroke glory so this is a 217cc two-stroke single-cylinder engine. Um, it is very simple. This entire thing you see here is the engine, the clutch and the gearbox. And yes, you can pull this entire thing out by yourself. It's actually not that heavy. Although, I will say some nuts and bolts are a real pain to reach. Right over here, this box over here, is your air filter. Under here, tucked away, under the air filter, I don't know if you can see it, is the carburetor. Right over there, hidden away. Uh, under this plastic cover here, which is pretty decently warm, is your cylinder. There you have the cable going uh, to your spark plug. There's a wasp here which wants to go into my engine. Can you not? <laughs> Please go away. I'm trying to make a video. I hope there isn't a nest here. Um, where was I? Ah, yeah. Um, over here we have the exhaust and the pipe going to the cabin for heating. So over here, there is a uh, little lever that controls a flap and it basically controls which direction the air from the engine cooling goes. It either goes down in the bottom or it goes up through the pipe to the cabin. Uh, so over here we have both the starter as the dynamo. This is a, a two-in-one deal. Um, it has it is connected to the flywheel via a belt and uh, yeah it takes care of both starting the engine as uh, supplying power to the battery and the other systems actually we haven't even looked at the battery and the other systems um, you might be wondering where the battery and other electricals are located well it's under the passenger seat Ta-da! There she is in all her glory. So this does have a new battery, which I'm very happy with. You can see it's just in a kind of an open tray, just chilling out. In the back there, let me zoom in a little. You can see the voltage regulators and various relay for starting and other things. That's basically all under the passenger seat. Okay, since this is a two-stroke, obviously it needs to mix oil and fuel. Luckily, the only luxury this car has is an automated oil injection system. Um, if you look at the throttle all the way over here, 
if you look at the throttle over there you'll see that it actually goes through a lever and then continues on to the carb and that is because um, the uh, oil injection pump is partially controlled by the engine RPM and partially controlled by your throttle this does mean however that you can brake on the engine this is something you can do with two strokes that don't have an, uh, an oil pump uh, of which you have to mix the uh, fuel and the oil yourself you can't brake on the engine because if the engine is going at high RPM without throttle that means no fuel but that also means no oil and that is obviously very bad for the engine however in this case because there is an oil pump it's all automated and it again it depends on an engine RPM so you'll be fine which makes driving this a lot easier I will say you wanna, wanna go for a ride? yes? I, I guess I don't need to do any narration anymore. We have, <laughs> well, I guess we have an audience. Well, okay, so um, here is that little nipple that does all the uh, spraying and that's a little bit clogged. So that sprays over your window and over your window, mostly onto your roof. And yeah, that works great. Of course, wiper. Um, nice logo. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, headlights, blinky lights, some other lights. This might. Uh, I know this is both low beam as high beam. I'm not sure what this white one is. Maybe just for decoration. I mean, I've only had this car for like three weeks, a little over three weeks. So. Yeah, I know. I know. Anyways, uh, rear lights, you know, um, blinky, rear light, brake light, I believe it was, some reflectors, no idea what this light is, I think this is a third brake light, but it's not working, and this is obviously the reverse light, of which I don't know if it's working, I haven't actually checked. Now, uh, of course you also need to put fuel and oil in it, so in the back here, Usually it's on the side with cars, but on this one it's on the back. There's the fuel and the fuel tank right here. <laughs> and, and over here we have the oil with the oil tank right here. So yeah, again, <laughs> again, <laughs> you don't need to pre-mix your fuel and your oil. It goes into separate tanks and the car takes care of the rest. Okay, that's it. <laughs>
Well, that's two strokes for you. They're uh, very simple, but they're uh, also very fickle. So I'll uh, need to tune it a little bit more. It was driving really well, but I think now the engine is actually hot. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's, it's struggling really badly. Most people uh, behind us are pretty patient, so... Oh, roundabout, that was fucking fun. Cow seeds. Hello, cow. I'm gonna zoom in on your face. There. Zoomed, zoomed in all the way to a cow face. Munch, munch grass. Yay. Oh, now they're all coming here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> they're not too sure about all of this, but they're definitely. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up? Num 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 num. Oh, oh. you missed. <laughs> One of them was just too busy eating. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, they're weird. But cute. Cows are friends. <laughs> Don't eat friends, people. I know. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs>